This is true too. Because I had a very, I have a very eclectic family. Jeez, we're Latin and Puerto Rican and crazy. <laughs> Jeez. There I sat, legs folded, sitting Indian style, holding my bladder because nothing was coming between me and that TV show. This episode promised to be a good one. I love the way Alice had snacks ready when everybody got home from school. Those brownies never compared to the spoonful of marshmallow fluff I was licking off my spoon. I love gazing into the eyes of a family that in a matter of minutes fixed major problems like Marsha's braces affecting her social life. <laughs> or how they calmly discuss the repercussions of breaking a window with a baseball. I thought to myself, so that's how a normal family does it. <laughs> it doesn't look that hard. Why can't we be like them? And just about that time, I became lost in the idea of having Carol as my mother. I'd hear my name being called out. Just my luck, something I did last week was being called and found out. They just noticed the mirror that I super glued back together or the window my shoe flew through when my, mother, when my brother ducked. Right about then, I prayed for the spirit of Carol to take over my mother. <laughs> but it never happened. My TV family was never going to be a reality for me. There was no Alice making her snacks or meals, and mom and dad were never going to sit me down for this real life talk. Till we cried and felt all warm and fuzzy inside, and why? Why can't I have that life? Why can't I, and why don't they have a life like mine? I wished, you know, for a family swap meet. You know, where you could go in and trade the ones, you know, that maybe God meant for you to have. <laughs> the ones you think maybe, you know, he made a mistake, I made a mistake. I'm placing you with for the ones that would be a better fit you know help God out just a little bit maybe he didn't realize how much they'd stretch and strain me maybe he didn't realize he probably had just had good intentions when he gave them to me but you know sometimes we outgrow our circumstances we need some sunshine when we get tired of dancing in the rain I'm not saying my family's one big black cloud but not all of us would have chosen to belong to each other. We love one another, but every family has those members that we ask God, seriously? <laughs> so back to the Brady Bunch. They grew up and so did I. I learned the difference between TV and real life. I figured out they were actors playing roles with families of their own and they were just as messed up as mine. I learned along the way, he makes every family a custom fit to go together. He doesn't give us a choice because it's all part of a plan to teach us life lessons we never would get without them. He knows we'll all make mistakes and that the bonds we'll make will be tested and grow us. He placed them beside us because no matter where in the world we go, they're part of, we're part of them, and we'll all, they'll always be inside us. But now, when I see old episodes of the Brady Bunch, I see avocado countertops and bell bottoms. <laughs> I see their mouths moving, but it's like they're not even talking. There's no substance in their words, because all I hear is their whining. The toughness that's in me, my instinct to survive, to get up and try, it's because of my family. And you can't get that from your TV. Thank you. Yeah!